Hi, I'm Annie with Polar Explorers, and I'm going to teach you how to build a tire rig for your polar expedition training and for training for any of your other sled hauling adventures. So here's what you're going to need to make your tire rig. Starting with a tire, you can pick up a tire pretty much at any garage, or you can ask your friends and neighbors. Usually somebody will have one. If you want a heavy tire, go for a heavy one. If you want a lighter one, go for a lighter one. If you're going to be joining two tires together, maybe don't go so heavy. Start off with something lighter. Next, you're going to need about six to eight feet, maybe two to three meters of a rope. It can be any kind of rope um, tied on the ends with just a simple loop. And then with an overhand knot about every foot or so on that rope. You're also going to want another piece of rope that is about three feet, maybe one meter. I'll show you what to do with this in a little bit. You're going to want to have some bungee cord. This isn't actually a necessity, but it can be really nice. And this is just about 15 inches and it's just tied into a loop. You're going to want an eye bolt with a nut or U bolt. You're going to want a couple of carabiners. You're going to need your electric drill with a drill bit, making sure that the eye bolt is roughly the same size as the drill bit. And then you're going to want your day pack, which you're going to use as your harness to pull the sled. And this is just an average rucksack, nothing fancy about it, except that it does have a waist belt and that's pretty important. It's also helpful if it has a sternum strap as well. We'll start by putting in the eye bolt. If you think you're gonna be pulling more than one tire, make sure to put two of these in on opposite sides of the tire. So one there and one right there. This is an example of the U-ring. So with my eye bolt in, I can go ahead and clip my rope or my trace into the eye bolt with the carabiner and I'm ready to go. But this is, this is nice, but it, you sure feel that tug when you start walking. So to be kind to my body, I'm gonna put in a little bungee. And this is where I take my bungee cord that I've just tied into a loop and I'm gonna just put it in a little two loops. Um, actually, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna put it through here like this. Put my carabiner through that and now my trace through the carabiner. So now when I go to pull, it's a little bit more gentle on my body. So we're going to take this shorter rope and we're going to make a cradle for the backpack and that's how you're going to tie your harness into the tire rig. Here we have the backpack with the hip belt and at the base of the hip belt we're just going to tie the end around the base of the hip belt in a bowline knot or any kind of a loop. Bowline works well in this case. Same thing on the other end. There we go. And now when we rotate this over the other side, you can see it's gonna be pulling from right here. So when we put the whole system together, we've got our rucksack, which has a cradle we created. It's connected with a beaner to our trace, which has some knots in it for grip. That's connected with a bungee to our tire. There's our tire, which is connected to another tire with a carabiner, and you can have as many tires as you want. And there we go. For more information about tire pulling and for other tips for your polar training, click on the links below. Thanks for watching.